We've got Joe Fries here from uh, Parker Sporlin, and we are going to talk a little bit about the ZoomLock Max. It looks like, just from my observations, we have a new large fitting coming out. Um, what is the reason that you guys are bringing that to market? So uh, a lot of our refrigeration customers need the larger fittings to complete their installs. Right now, our fitting line only goes up to one and three eighths. Okay. So, so a lot of the lines, you know, you need one and five eighths, two and an eighth to do the full store. So um, they couldn't go full brace free until we got a little bit larger sizes. So we're working on these, uh, going through our engineering evaluation, testing, hope, hope to have those out in the market later this year. So okay. a lot of work going there. So with the Zoom Lock Max, I've talked about it before, it can be a time saver, but I say that it's really all in the prep and the amount of work that you put into prepping the fittings. You know, there's people out there that have negative stuff to say about crimp fittings or press fittings, but really, I mean, to each their own, certain applications call for it, certain applications don't, but my experience with it is it's all in the prep. It's how you prep the pipe, and one of the most important things when it comes to prepping the pipe is actually deburring the outside of the pipe. A lot of people, you know, proper practices tell us to deburr the inside because we don't want those metal shavings ending up in our TEV or something like that, yeah. but the prep of the outside Correct me if I'm wrong. It's because you can tear the O-rings. Yeah, the, the, Chris, there's a there's a O-ring on the inside of the fitting. So if you have a sharp burr on the outside, there's a chance to you know put a little nick or rub. Or, there you go yeah. on the cross section. So you can see that. So as you insert the tube, if that's not a smooth edge, and you actually kind of want to make almost a chamfer on that outside edge. So it helps installing it, makes it go in a little bit easier, and make sure you don't damage that O-ring when you install it. Definitely. Now me personally. Um, I don't do a lot with ZoomLock Max, but I do have two jobs out there that I've done with it. One of them running for two years. Um, absolutely no problems at all. It really was about prepping everything, making sure that I got good connections, supporting the lines properly, um, making sure that, you know, because of vibrations and different things like that, we're not worried about that. But you guys actually tested ZoomLock Max in a vibe, like a, a, a vibration chamber or whatever, oh, yeah. right? To make sure that yeah, you guys have I mean, good seals. We went through rigorous testing process, vibration, burst, fatigue, all, all kinds of freeze thaw type testing. So full qualification test plan on this product before we brought it to market. We, you know, we, we had to make sure it met the Parker standard for quality before we launched it in the market, so. Yeah, and for me, um, I used to do hospital work and hospital work was where this would shine because yes. we would have to apply for burn permits, braze mm -hmm. permits, whatever you want to call it. And this really cuts that out of the picture because you have the ability. Now, one of the limiting factors, or at least the perception was one of the limiting factors was um, you know, the fittings because you still would have to braze at the filter dryer or the sight glass or mm -hmm. different things like that. And it seems like uh, coming over here, you guys actually have a solution for that. Yeah, uh, Park, we offer both you know, uh, Zoom Lock compatible filter or sight glass and a filter dryer. We also have solenoid valves as the with the ODM connections and also uh, ball valves with ODM connections. So we have those available to where, you know, this is just like a normal fitting. You do your proper prep on the outside. You can use the ZoomLock product and connect directly to this. No cutting off bells, no, you know, directly to it. These are available, widely distributed through the wholesale channel. Cool, so. and the cool thing is, is, you know, even if you were to stock these in your truck, you could literally swage the pipe if you were gonna braze it. So what does yeah. it hurt to have a non-swage fitting in there because you can still braze on top of it if you needed to. So that way you have stock that is zoom lock compatible yeah. and or braze compatible. Uh, I mean, it gives you the option, right? You can bra braze, you can press, you can push, you can do any type of uh, connection there. So full For options sure. available.